Hey everyone, I'm Noah and welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. It's no secret that the little details in games can leave a big impact on the overall experience. Scene transitions, subtle particle effects, animated and responsive UI, options menu and so on help make the game feel polished, intuitive and just more fun and interesting to explore. And so in today's Unity tutorial, Let's take a look at one such important detail that, if absent, will clearly bug out the player's immersion and experience. I'm talking about the music transitions between scenes. So I'll show you two ways to make the flow of your music feel more natural when transitioning between scenes. So I've made two basic scenes, each with some cartoony characters. In my scene one, I'll drag and drop this soundtrack I downloaded from YouTube's audio library and call it BG Music. Method number one will have our music smoothly continue from scene to scene, so no interruptions. This is a cool and very simple method to put into place and can be used for all kinds of games to keep the players immersed in the world. So I'll create a new C Sharp script called Music Transition, drag and drop it onto my background music game object and open it up. Here, I'll make a private static variable of type music transition called instance, and in my awake function, which I remind you is called right before start, I'll check whether instance is equal to null. If it is, then this will become the instance, and I'll make sure to not destroy onload this instance. If not, I'll just destroy the game object. Now, the game object with this script attached to it will move from scene to scene and not destroy itself. The reason I check whether there is already an instance and if there is destroy the game object is to make sure that there aren't multiple background music game objects in the same scene. Before hitting play, I'll also make a small c -sharp script called Scene Manager and drag and drop it onto an empty game object. Inside it, I'll make sure to use the scene management namespace so I can load a new scene when I hit space. I'll type what scene I would like to transition to in the inspector by making a public string variable called scene name and plugging that in right here. So in the inspector, I'll type scene2 since that's the scene I want to move to from scene1 and then I'll copy and paste that game object inside of scene2 and type scene1 for scene name since that's the only other scene in my project. Lastly, I'll make sure both my scenes are in the build settings because if that's not the case, Unity will throw us a red error, and we won't move from scene to scene. Hitting play, I can hop from one scene to another, and the background music game object will follow along and give us that nice, uninterrupted soundtrack. Obviously, your scene transitions will be even cooler if you added some nice fading panel animation or something of the sort. For more on that, check out this tutorial I did on the topic. Alright, now let's take a look at method number two, fading your music in and out between scenes. Many games may not want just one uninterrupted soundtrack, but multiple musics for different scenes. One cool way to make things feel smooth when that's the case is fading your music in when the scene first loads. In other words, get it to go from volume zero to a volume of 1, and then when the player changes scene, do the opposite, so slowly mute that volume. An incredibly easy way to do this is by using the animation window, which you can access right here. I'll start by creating a new animation called Fade In, and with the record mode set on, I'll set my volume slider to 0 on the first frame. Roughly 4 seconds later, I'll set it equal to 1, and you'll now see that when I play my animation, the volume slider slowly increases, the effect being of course a slow increase in the music's volume. I'll now create a second animation, this one named Fade Out, and do the contrary. So set the volume to 1 on the first frame, and after 2 seconds, have the value drop to 0. In my animator window, I'll now create a trigger condition called Fade Out, and make a transition from my Fade In 
in animation to my fade out animation, adding the fade out condition to that transition and unchecking exit time, as well as zeroing out the transition duration value. For loads of info on animation transitions, check out this vid right here. All we must now do is get the fade out animation to trigger at the right time. In other words, play it as soon as we wish to change scene. So first of all, I'll remove my music transition script that we no longer need and hop into the scene manager script. Here I'll create a public variable of type animator called music anim. What we must do is whenever we hit space, wait a few seconds for our fade out music animation to play and only then change scene. We can easily do this by using coroutines, which act like functions except you can wait x amount of seconds between lines of code. So I'll make a new coroutine by typing i enumerator and call it change scene. I'll first of all get my music anim playing its fade out animation by typing music anim dot set trigger fade out and then wait a certain amount of seconds by stating yield return new wait for seconds. Instead of hard coding the value between these parentheses, I'll rather make a public float variable called wait time that I'll copy paste in there and be able to easily tweak in the inspector. And then I'll take this line of code that gets us changing scenes and paste that right after yield return new wait for seconds. Not forgetting of course to start the coroutine as soon as I hit space. And there we go. I can now drag and drop my BG music inside that animation empty slot. Type in 2 seconds for wait time since our fade out animation lasts 2 seconds and do the same for scene 2, adding the animator controller to the background music and drag and dropping it inside of the scene manager empty slot. Typing in 2 for the wait time value. and hitting play, you'll see that the music slowly fades in, and when I hit space, it will fade out completely, before transitioning to a new scene. Awesome! And that marks the end of the video. I really hope you found it helpful and will be able to use this new knowledge to make your games feel more polished and music transitions smoother and cooler. It would be absolutely awesome if you considered helping me out make this content by donating a monthly payment which you can cancel at any time via Patreon, like these top supporters. Hitting the like and subscribe buttons to get notified of new videos released would also be so appreciated. With with that said, have a great day, stay tuned, lots more is coming up here at Blackthorn Prod, cheers! <laughs>